I'm Joan London of Good Morning America. It is Sunday, November 13th. I know you're not used to seeing me at this hour. I'm not used to being here at this hour. I'm up each morning around 3 a.m. to do our program, but I've been asked by ABC to spend a few minutes talking with the man who joins the ABC family this season, Academy Award winner Lou Gossett Jr., and he shares the marquee with Burt Reynolds and Peter Falk on the new ABC Saturday mystery movie. And it's great to have a chance to talk with you. It's good to talk Gideon to you. Gideon Oliver. Yep, Professor. Professor, yeah. but a kind of a professional snoop, too. Tell us about this character. Well, he's an anthropologist, a, a man of letters. He's been around the world. He's now a professor in, uh, in a, uh, any spe specific city. And uh, the first episode, uh, a woman that he's loved has been killed. And they think it's a mass murder. And it turns out to be uh, part of a satanic cult. So he takes, of course, personal interest in trying to find out who the uh, killer is. Or killers are. It really is different from other detective series mm -hmm. in that it almost kind of uses a sociological viewpoint in order to solve crimes. Well, there kind of is a similarity, an anthropological, well, anthropological similarity in the sense that it's, and it's kind of bad news in a sense, that everywhere you go, you can think of any particular place in the world, almost, there is some kind of conflict happening. And it seems to be inherent somewhere in man. Mm. Uh, if you close your eyes and point to a map, there's something happening. So, in a sense, I'm happy to do a series, but in another sense, I'd like to change the subject eventually so that there's no place to point and that there's no conflict. But there is conflict in almost every episode, from one man to another. So it becomes quite fascinating. You were with me mm -hmm. recently on Good Morning America, and we talked about the sequel to Roots, uh -huh. plus a new movie. Uh -huh. I mean, are you a workaholic? Do you consider well, yourself that? Well, it's better than work. This is something I love doing. Not many people oh. in this world, I think you would agree, not many people in this world are doing what they love doing. The day goes yeah. like that. And that's a very small percentage. I wish other people could love what they're doing instead of just, yeah. just go to work. Uh, but when I am not working... Yeah, what do you do to relax? I spend it with my family. Yeah. I love my sons. I love my family. What do you like to do with them? Whatever they want. <laughs> yeah, and that's relaxed because I don't see my home very often and I've got a wonderful family. Because all work and no play it makes you very dull. Well, yeah. I know what you mean because yeah. I have to get up early in the morning yeah. too and work the hard schedule. Yeah, what do you do? What do you do to relax? Well, let's take next week for instance. Uh -huh. Tough work, but someone's got to do it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> all this coming week, I'll tell you, I'm going to be at one of the country's hottest spa so every morning i'll be getting up and being pampered working out a little bit and sampling some glorious spa cuisine let's call it a working vacation <laughs> also ahead this week charlie talks with british prime minister margaret thatcher we will also be hearing from bridget nielsen and mark gastineau and jane seymour of course from war and remembrance so join charlie gibson and me tomorrow morning and every morning to get a jump on the day and some good company in the morning from all of us here at good morning america have a great evening